Good morning. I'm going to get the iPad to work. Get the music sorted. Da, 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 da. Morning, Christine. Right. So we have music on the telephone. Live feed, hopefully, on the iPad when it kicks in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, come along, Timothy. Good morning, Christina. Morning, Pauline. <laughs> Buenos dias, Maria. I can tell. Hi, Diane. Right, there we go. Are you working now? Perfect stuff. Okay, my lovely ladies, we will need morning, Karen. Uh, our chair again, our water bottle weights, our mat fell on the floor. If you need a towel or a cushion for your head for when we're doing our core exercises, we'll uh, get our little groove on. Oh no, Derek's hurt his ankle. Did he wear his high heel shoes and fall over in the house? Send him our best. Oh, Derek. So hope you're looking after it with his uh, icing and raisin roll at Malarkey. Let us know if you want any advice. Hi, Meg. Right, okay, armed and ready. Music. Don't need those. <laughs> Perfect. I think I've got my marbles. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day out. And hopefully from Monday we can be outside. It should be absolutely bloody glorious. Okay then. Right. Are we feeling ready to rumble? Got my leg around the moment. It'll come off very shortly. So let's get ourselves warmed up. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Let's get marching on the spot. Slowly building ourselves up. Loosening off the joints and getting ready to rumble. So get a big old nice dynamic arm. So you're swinging them sort of more back and forward. So you're loosening up your shoulders too whilst we're marching on the spot. Keep those legs moving. Keep the nice big arms. Ten seconds. We're side step for a moment. Good marching arms, first of all, have the squeakiest trainers. I do apologize. So, in our 15 second rest, we're going to keep those legs moving. We're going to do a side step for our next 30 seconds. So five seconds, and we're going to do a side step. Three, two, one. Let's side step. So, a nice big stride and push off. We're going to supporting these nice and soft. Hopefully, <laughs> you're squeaking my trainers on. Should have possibly done a trial run. Good stuff. Right, bicep arms, let's bring those in for the next 15 seconds. Side steps. Think about your core, so get that diaphragm, pelvic floor, suck it all up, keep it nice and tight. Get those bicep arms going. Then go back to marching on the spot. Good, good. So whilst we're here, let's start rolling our shoulders. Change direction. Keep the legs moving. Three, two, let's give a hamstring curls. Now, so step, curl behind. So, no arms, first of all. Remember to keep our supporting knee soft. And flatten that foot nice and carefully. Bring our bicep arms now for the last 15. Good, good, good. Good. 
Good stuff. Two, one. Back to march one squat. In the final part of our warm up will be our knee lifts. And we're tapping our hand on the top of our opposing knee. So keep marching on the spot in our rest periods. Get that blood moving, get that circulation going. So let's start knees. Knee tap. So again, think about planting that foot carefully. Supporting knee is bent, core is tight. Squeeze your booty. Tap that knee. Lovely stuff. Over halfway. Three seconds, two, one, perfect, right, layers off, <laughs> just check that I have actually got a dress underneath, da, da, da. right, just going to pause the clock for a moment, grab some water before we start if you wish, not too much, okay, so we're going to build the legs up and bring in more and more dynamic arms, We've got really light hand weights with the smaller water bottles, a bit, a bit more resistance. Do grab them, add them in when you want to, take them out when you want to. Just try and keep moving. Okay, so in three seconds, side steps. Two, one, let's go. So nice side steps, straight into the bicep arms, 15 seconds. Then we're going to change to chest press arms. So biceps first. Big old side step. Three. Two, one, arms in front, pull them back. So we're going to push those arms forward, drawing the elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades. Good, good, good. Back to marching on the spot. Next time with our side steps, we're going to be doing our lateral raises. Okay, so stay marching for now. Three, two, one, get the legs going first, side steps, so lateral raise. Imagine you're lifting your wings up and squeezing something down. So create a bit more resistance. Ten seconds gone. Then change to pull down. Now, pull down. If you don't have your hands doing the pull down yet, you can stay with the chest press. Mix and match. You hurt your brains. Far too early for that. <laughs> Good stuff. Marching on the spot. Lovely. Let's bring in our hamstring curls. So we're going to step and curl behind, but stay marching for a moment. Straighten with bicep arms. Halfway, chest press. Hamstrings. Let's go. So step and curl. Get your bicep arms in. So you're creating some tension as arms. Not just fling them around and that's squeezing those bicep muscles. Five seconds, we change the try, uh, chest press arms. Two, one. As we bring our leg back, draw your arms back. Core nice and tight, think about that supporting knee. Good, good. Five seconds. Two, one. Marching on the spot. We can stick with our hamstrings. We're going to do chest press arms. And pull down arms for 15 seconds, changing to pull down. Hamstrings, let's go. Legs first, arms out, let's get the chest going. Push forward, pull back. Lovely stuff in five seconds, we'll do the pull down. Arms up, ready? Let's go. Good, good. Push up, draw your leg behind and pull down. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Brilliant stuff. Knees are next. Keep marching on the spot. So knees with just the taps on top first of all for the first 15 seconds. Two, one. Knees up and tap. Supporting knees soft, core nice and tight. Then bring down, pull down arms in five seconds. And keep the knee tapped if you wish, arms up. Now, drawing your knee up, drawing your elbows down. Beautiful stuff, 10 seconds. Uh, 
And resting, resting, right. Let's stop him at 10. Good, good. Let's swing some legs around. So hold on to something stable. The back of your chair, arm, wall. And just swing. Sit up our legs. And nice and controlled. Change legs. Pull out of tight. Swing your legs. Hold on to something if you need to. His best two. Perfect. Nice wide start. Core looking tight. Just going to lunge down to one side. So bending the knee that you're leaning towards. Feel the nice stretch going on from your inner thighs. Good, good, good. Perfect. So the exercise is going to appear in the circuit. Sit so from the side. When you're standing tall, bending my back leg, I'm sticking my bum back. I'm sticking my bottom back. My knees are traveling too far forward over my other leg. Now, good. Right. <sighs> Let's see how imaginary set go. I think we've got just the girls in the room so we can have a <laughs> flashback 80s. <laughs> step rebot. Imaginary step, we're going to be stepping up and stepping down. Dynamic arms. So stand behind your imaginary step. Feet on your left. First 15 with your left. Up with your left. Nice dynamic arms. Imagine that step again, pushing off the floor, lifting that leg. If you've got to step up onto something. Last time on the left, change right now. Up with the right. Good. Big arms. So you've got lighter weights. Chins of soup. Anything at all. Keep moving. And resting. Great stuff. We're going to be going up to, into our um, tired ah, diagonals. We're going to go up with our left and down with our left. Up with our left, down with our left. Left. Change. Right. There we go. Up and off. Up with our left, down with our left. Tap. Up with your right, down with your right. With a tap. And off we go again. Tap, tap, boom. Arms coming in. Touch your brain as well. <laughs> Good stuff. Got seven seconds. Lift your arms. Perfect stuff. To the side of your step, you're going to be stepping over. First of all, we're not going to have a jump in, but we are going to start adding in the jump. Again, if you don't want to, like the impact, keep it out and just do this toast, uh, the toast out in the middle. Three, two, one. Let's go. So up and over your imaginary step. Do a little jump in if you want to. You don't have to. You can keep the impact there. So a little jump. Press the palms. Good stuff. Nice big leap. So anytime, take out the jump. Or add it in. <laughs> So you have 10 seconds, keep those arms going. You're going to keep this movement for the next exercise. Five seconds. Da, da, da. Beautiful stuff to the side of your step. You're going to add in hamstring curls. So we're going to go over one curl. That leg, that curl, we're going back on the step. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Over the step, top leg curl. That leg goes back over. So it's your inside leg that's curling behind. Keep your hands on your hip for a moment. So you really focus on getting that nice hamstring curl for the stretch to your quad because they work together. Halfway. Beautiful stuff. Keep moving. Up. Perfect. Knees. So again, the inside knee will step over, inside knee. Okay. So march into the side of your step. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go over the top, inside knee. Over the top, over the top. Yeah. Again, don't think you take that balance side at any time. Seconds. 
Perfect, so marching on the spot. This time I'm going to go over, knee, hamstring, knee, over, knee, hamstring, knee. <laughs> Let's get it over the top. Knee, hamstring, knee, over the top. Knee, hamstring, knee. Knee, hamstring, knee, over the top. Knee, hamstring, knee. Perfect, halfway. Hamstring, knee. Take your nose, knee, hamstring, knee. Knee, hamstring, knee. It's an hamster, knee. Hamstrings, knee. Good, good, good. Perfect step. Right, little tiny rest. Stop them at 10. Good job. Good, good, good. Little drinky. Perfect. You can give you more. Right, down to a chair. Let's put those legs. And booty. No weights required. We have our traditional squats first. So our neutral stance. Then our sumos. Then we're going to front leg. Then we're going to the side for our side leg movements. So if any of those are uncomfortable, uh, I'll go back to the previous exercise. Um, yeah. We'll stand and look pretty whilst we can, whilst we finish the set. Right, 10 seconds. Normal squats. So our legs are chair leg apart. Core living tight. Perch on the edge of your chair, pelvic floor diaphragm a lot, push that ground away. So as you come up, as you come down, so we're not going to fold, you keep that chest up. That's a bit of a posh fold, isn't it? Dear old. <laughs> so core's tight, push the ground away. Squeeze that bum, so as you come up now, squeeze those glutes, keep that core drawn in and engaged. You've got 10 seconds, nice and controlled up, control the down. Good. Three, two, one. Perfect stuff. Wider stance of our sumo, so more of a 90 degree angle is going on. And a little bit more control. Squeaky chair. <laughs> control of the sumo. So just kiss the chair as we come down, don't actually rest at the bottom. So core's tight, push the ground away, squeeze the glutes, control down, little kiss, and up. A slightly more perpetual motion. Keep that core engaged, glutes tight. Up and down, the same sort of tempo. If you don't need the chair, absolutely brilliant. But having there's a nice guy to ensure you're nice and consistent. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Sitting on your chair now doing our leg raises. Get to the side so you can see a little bit better. Little tap, you'll think we're using the front of your thigh. You can use your uh, straight leg. Absolutely perfect. So sit if you wish on the edge of your chair, your leg can hang off and lift up. A nice flexed foot, this is definitely a hard version. You can just keep your toe touching and your knee flexed. So nice straight leg, lift and lower. Then scaling options bend and little toe touch and lift. So 10 seconds, same, same leg. Five seconds, three. Two, one, perfect. So change your side if you wish. Think I'll stick with your bent leg lift. We'll have one bum cheek hanging off. Do a straight leg lift. <laughs> Bonky dog. Got <laughs> different shape bum cheeks. <laughs> so if you go for a straight leg, flex that foot, lift them lower, keeping that core nice and tight. Then we're using the front of those thighs to do the lift. So you can have your knee flexed. And then you're lifting your leg up and touching the floor. 10 seconds. That's how you look with a bent knee. You've got a nice straight leg, but a lot harder. You really work in the front of those sides. Two, one. Up, up to standing to the side of your chair, standing on the back leg. Up and tall, we're lifting out to the side. Again, keeping your body lovely and engaged. Supporting knee is soft. Not flexing here as you move. Stand tall and lift. So flex that foot forward to leading with your heel. You're not kicking up, you're controlling the lift and engaging the glutes. Squeeze. Don't click on the side of the bum. 
that helps with the shape of the glutes. Very important. The foot nice and flexed, core tight, supporting knee soft. 10 seconds. Nice and controlled, squeeze up, control the down. Three, two, one. Perfect. Using that same outside leg, we're going to face the chair, then lift our leg behind. You can do it. I've got the space. Exactly where we are now, lifting behind. As you can see, I'm going core is tight, supporting me is soft, foot is flexed, I'm lifting behind. So I'm not changing my back, I'm not putting any strain from my lower back. I'm trying to control the movement by using my glutes to squeeze. It's not a massive movement. Don't try and make it too big and put strain on that lower back. Core living tight, stand tall. Pause and squeeze back. Good. Also be mindful of your uh, this leg's knee. Don't lock him out. The tension's in the glutes, not the knee. Three, two, one. Perfect. Change sides. So side lift out to the side. Standing by your back leg. Beautifully tall, supporting knee soft. Lifting out to the side. The flexed foot. So I'm drawing my heel up. Let's go. Stand tall. Control the up. Control the down. Keep those glutes tight. If you can't feel them working, squeeze harder. <laughs> of your core, pelvic floor up and in, suck it up, suck it up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Pushing behind, nice flex leg. Supporting the soft, squeezing those glutes, control so it's not a kick. We are moving nice and controlled and engaging those glutes. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Standing core, standing tall, core tight. Squeeze your bum. Not a big move. You know, I don't want any sudden overarching going on your back. Not the muscles we are looking for. Squeeze, nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. Perfect. So have one of your water weights with our triceps. Bring them both to hand then, because we're all going to join in. So tricep hip backs first of all, supporting hand on the chair, knees are soft, core is tight, glutes engaged. Arm up and round the body and straighten out. And it's work when we're working the most when our arm is straight. Don't rush the movement. Ten seconds done. Nice and controlled. Okay. You have to think about your core, think about your glutes. Nice soft knees. Three, two, one. Perfect change signs. The weight is on the outside, supporting hand on the chair. Feet hip distance apart, knees soft. Core tight, bum tight. <laughs> think and breathe. Locked and loaded. Three. Two, one, and it's extending out. Good. So don't rush the movement. That extension is when we're working the tricep the most. The more we get the muscles to work, the more blood's getting pumped in. We're not going to get big old muscles, just going to get the circulation in there, get the toxins out, get the fresh blood in there. Good stuff. Three. Two, one, brilliant. Grab your other weight and take a seat. We'll go for our shoulders. So sitting nice and neutral, perched on the end of your chair. Have our weights by our ears. We're going to push up and pull back. Think about your shoulder blades. It's not about knocking those arms out. It's not the right movement. Set your back, core tight, push your weights up. So it always remains a slight flex in your elbows. So whilst we're doing this, I was saying then about the importance of the circulation, getting the blood into the muscles, toxins out, fresh blood in, which is why it's imperative to keep your water intake up to help flush out the toxins that are releasing from those trapped muscles. Doesn't mean getting just a nice sitting down the throughout the day. Perfect stuff. So going to stay with the shoulders in the body, slightly forward from your hips, wings out to the side. Okay. 
five seconds. So nice deep breath in, core tight, lean forward from your hips. I have my thumbs on the top of my weights, lifting my wings up under control and lowering them down. Again, think about those shoulder blades, think about the muscles and the ligaments and bones that are facilitating the movement. Halfway. Three, two, one. Perfect. Triceps next. So arms all the way up, flexing our elbows behind and fully straightening. So try and get a nice full range of movement. Keep your core nice and tight. So deep breath in, stand tall, engage your glutes even though we're sitting on them. Bend your arms and fully extend. Loving controlled movement for halfway. Good stuff. Three seconds. Perfect. Standing up for biceps. Been the same for hammer curls. So we're going to have our arms the same. Just the angles are fully straight up to 90. And we don't change our wrist angles. So we don't rotate. Okay, so core tight. Feet, hips and support, curl them up and straighten. So think of your front of your arms when you bring them up, when you push down the bottom of those triceps. Biceps, push into the ground, triceps. Nice and steady, don't rush. Good, 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 good. Right, three, two, one, perfect. Staying in our same position, we're going to do standing penguins. You have your weights to the side. But let's scrunch down and scrunch. Okay? Three, pause tight. Two, one. Quality the movement. Again, don't rush. Feel those obliques working. Nice old crunch in there. Keep the core nice and drawn in, bend the the spine. Don't want to distend those abs. Got 10 seconds. And we're going to go down to the floor. Three, two, one. Perfect. Right. To the floor, but keep your weights to one side. So you do weights to hand. Cool. Let's see what that little comment is. Then we'll crack on with our floor section. So, yeah, Vonnie, I don't quite know what you mean that you don't like that I'm using weight. So, it's not mandatory. All the exercises can be done without the weight. Just think about the contractions. It's always been the case in all the classes, and nothing is mandatory. So, right, to the floor we have core. So, we're going to do our core exercises, uh, chest and triceps, and some more glute bridges to work our booties. So, normal crunches first of all, no uh, accessories. 10 seconds. So standing on the, lying on the floor, standing on the floor. Core's nice and tight, just a little crunch to start off with. Let's go, so keeping our chins, feeling that contraction. We're stretching out the abs and contracting them down. Perfect, sir. So we're bringing our glute bridges. Grab your weights if you want to. Don't have to. So core's up in tight. We're going to push our hips up. 
And then make sure we start the beauty flat back into the mat and come down bone by bone. So cause tight back to pin the mat, up and squeeze your glutes, then come down like a pizza slice. Nice and flat and squeeze. Good. A little pause at the top, make sure you get those glutes to work. Good stuff. You don't have to have the weights at resistance. If you do great, if you don't great, the usual thing. Perfect, squeeze that bum at the top. Two, one, great. Lose one weight, we're gonna add in the crunch of the weights. Gonna come all the way up, we don't have to have it. We're gonna come up, holding our weight and back down again. You're still working on your strength for the full sit up. Either stay down at the half ones, or get so far and walk up under control, no yanking going on. So course tight, up, and in. All good, feel it nice and steady. We'll go back to glute bridges again after this core exercise. Two, one, perfect glute bridges again. Keep that one more to weight on your hips. So make sure you pin your shoulder blades nice and tight, core beautifully tight. Feet are hip distance apart. Really draw everything in, up and in. Let's go glute bridges, up and squeeze. So don't rush the movement. You've got extra engagement once you're up in position. So it's all about the quality, not the quantity. All good. So we're going to do a crunch with the overhead press next. Perfect. So we're doing our crunch with the, overhead, uh, the press over here. So we're going to be peeling ourselves up doing our first crunch, come down, extend over. If you're just doing a half crunch, perfect. Do your half crunch and come over. And again, with or without weight, that is your decision. So coming up, scrunching those abs, keeping them tight as we curl ourselves down and stretching them out for the overhead part. Scrunch them in, keep them tight as we come down, stretch them out. Good stuff, back to our glute bridges. All good? Back into these. Really squeeze that booty. Plant those shoulder blades. Let's get our breath set. Core engaged, squeeze bums. Let's go. Up. So don't rush the down, keep those glutes lovely engaged as much as possible. If they drop off on the way down, reconnect them. Get them working. All good. So the final core exercise is going to be coming up, doing our shoulder press, coming down overhead. Again, if you're just doing a half crunch, you can do a press here and back down. You can do it without the weights, just do the movement. Think about the core, don't rush anything. So draw the core in, scrunch everything when you're stable, extend up, down and overhead. Lovely and controlled movements. Up. Good job. Perfect stuff. Right, my lovelies. Now go for your weights. Last little chest and triceps and back on your feet. Jumping around like mad brothers. Plant those shoulder blades. Core's looking tight, arms down, and push them up. So again, you're creating that tension in your chest. It's all about getting that blood moving. Your muscles are like pumps. All good? Halfway already? Yeah. 
two, two, one. Perfect. Then for our flies, so again, our shoulders are pinned. We're opening out the side with flexing our elbows. But the working part is the squeezing in. It's not about getting wide as possible. And you work on the contraction. So imagine you've got a great big beach ball and we're squeezing it together at the top. So nothing controlled in that opening and squeeze the ball. Your core's nice and tight. And don't rush, squeeze. Two, one. Perfect. Last of triceps. You're staying lying on the floor. This time, tilt your pelvis on your lower back and the back of your pelvis is into the floor. Arms straight up. We're going to flex the elbow. Weight to the side and straight back up. So you don't have to have any weights for these. So it's nice and controlled. Stretch and contract those triceps. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, we've got 10 seconds. Great, lovely, right, weights to the side. Get ourselves up to standing. Brilliant stuff. So we've got our last 15 intervals, so clear your workspace, you can't leave your limited. That's it. Have a little bit of water. So that cabinet's black, so we just try and cover it so we don't blend in the background too much. Okay, dokey. All we need is ourselves. Again, so you put the extra weights. Dive in. You don't? Perfect. Right. Okay, dokey. Let's get marching on our spot. We're going to have our imaginary step. So let's march behind our imaginary step. And then we're leading with our left. Two, one. So up on the step, the left, and down the left. All first 15 seconds on our left. Then we're going to go 15 seconds on our right. Let's get those arms in. Going to get those heart rates back in, up again. Change this time to our right leg up to the right. I need to fill off my imaginary step then. <laughs> so we have a, we've got our heart rate down whilst we're on the floor. Now bring them back up again. Moving those legs again. Overemphasize, stepping up to nothing. Two, one. Great stuff. Right. So we're going to now go on the diagonals with our last step. With our right knee lift, down the left, change. Up with the left, right knee comes up. Up with the right, we have left knee. Okay. Three. So starting with our right leg. To the left, right leg, left knee, down and change. Left leg, right knee, down and change. Good. So let's get the tempo up. Slightly more dynamic with those arms and legs. Keep the supporting knees nice and soft. Have a little jump, a little toe, with a calf raise if you wish. Again, to help working, pulping that muscles, pumping the blood around. Five seconds. Two, one, perfect. Going to change that to hamstrings. So leaving up with our right, hamstring with our left, and change. Good, good. So you have your hands on your hips, do biceps, towards the jaws. So leaving our right leg to our left, two, one. So right leg, left curls. Down, left leg, right curls. Good stuff. Arms, you can put some pull back. So imagine doing like a straight arm pull through. Keep those cores tight. Really strong shoulders, strong triceps. Brilliant stuff. Seven seconds. Good. Gently march to the side of your step. Then go up and over. Gonna build it up. So no legs, one leg, three legs. Three leg movements. <laughs> so stepping over the top, three. Two, one, up and over, and tap. So big arms, getting to the pull through arms if you want to, bicep arms, 
just press arms. So if you want to get a bit more dynamic, again, if you don't want to put the jump in, please don't. Take out the impact. Just keep this joint nice and soft. When we're doing the uh, dynamic movements. Beautiful stuff. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Right. So we're going to add in one knee. So we're going to step over and knee, step back. So it's the centre knee, centre leg that's doing all the work in the lifts. Right. Three, two, one. Let's go over, over, with a jump and knee. Big nice, good dynamic arms. Big marchy arms. Tap that knee. Bring your knees high as comfortable. Think about your supporting leg. Halfway. If you're all good, you've got 10 seconds. Five to go. Three, two, one. Good, good. Three. So go over the top. Let's go hamstrings. Hamstring, hamstring, hamstring over the top. Okay? So hamstrings to the first 15s, then knees for the next. Hamstrings first, up and over. Three hamstrings, two, three. Back over. Hamstring, hamstring, hamstring. Good job. Biceps, if you wish. Knees this time. Knee, knee, knee. Up and over. You prefer the hamstrings? We want to take it down a notch this one minute. One uh, set. Go for it. <laughs> Five seconds. Good job. Right, we are going to bring in the delightful horseshoe. It's a little pause. Imaginary step. So, if you are doing it without the turn, stand to the left hand side of your step, step up with your left. Take your right over, step down with your left, down with your right. It's like a U shape. So, up with your right and step to your left. Step down with your right, bring your left to follow. Up with your left, across, down with your left. You're going to bring in the twist. You'll start here, so up with your left, across to your right, down. But you turn and you look as you sit down. Then turn back, forward. Yeah, perfect. Right then, my little cheese puffs. 10 seconds. Horseshoes, are we ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. One, slightly left, left and down, good. Bicep of arms, because it's just half the front of it. All good. Imagine again, you have that imaginary step, which you have to step up to, and make it a little bit harder. Good job, five seconds. Perfect stuff. Perfect, okay. All good? So we're going to bring our horseshoe, knee, 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 horseshoe. Ready? So start into one side. Let's go. So left, three knees facing that way. Horseshoe. Knees facing that way. Okay? So when you come down with your last knee, ease them back on step. Last one. Perfect. Good job. Right. So side to side steps, please. Next. The march on the spot for a moment. <laughs> Last is with us in mind, but not in body. So side steps. Bring me biceps. We're going to do chest press arms when it's 15 seconds left. Are we all good? Take a nice big stride, make it dynamic. Five seconds, we change our arms. Stick your arms out, ready? Let's pull. So squeeze the shoulders together, big old stride. Enjoy that, flex in the knee, keep your glutes nice and tight. They're hopefully working too. Good, good. Lovely. March around the spot. All fabulous. <laughs> so we're going to bring our grapevine in. We stand to one side, it's like a step, but we step behind, 
and touch. Just like your tap in the middle, we'll go behind. Let's go. Great back. We'll you clap if you wish. See your neighbours. I'm sure it's my lovely. <laughs> da -da. Good job. Jump on the end of the wish. Be mindful that it's nice and soft and controlled. And nothing's out of alignment. Good job. Perfect. Back to the spot. La la la. Hamstrings. Are we ready? So static hamstrings, well, sort of static, those ones. Right, on the spot. Two, one, let's go hands. Step and curl. Biceps straight in. Then change to pull through arms at halfway. Really work those arms. You need heavy weights if you want to. Pull through arms. Arms in front. Draw them back nice and straight. Strong shoulders. Strong arms. Feel your triceps and biceps all nice and contracted. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job. Knees. Knee taps. We go half. Keep marching. Half with the tap of our knee, half with the pull down arms. Oh, really? Pants up and ready. <laughs> Let's knee. So, first 15. Tap that knee. You can add a little jump if you want to, but only if you wish. The ankles and knees feel good, otherwise, don't put them in. Five seconds. Pull down arms. Arms up. Are ready? Pull them down. Draw your knee up. Elbows come down. Ding. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good, 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 good. Right, back to hamstrings. And so bring ourselves back down to relative calm. Relative calm. <laughs> so hamstrings in. Three, two, one. Step and curl. Keep your hands on the hips. Think about your core, your glutes. And stay up nice and tall. Good at pace, that's good for you. Keep your supporting knees up. Good, good. Halfway. And cooling ourselves down. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Marching on the spot. Side to side steps next. Nearly there, my lovely ones. Okay, side steps. Three. Two, one, step and touch. Draw those shoulders while we're doing this one. They're nice and steady and moving, which is relaxing some of the muscles. So we're still going backwards at the moment. Then change to take your arms forward. Keep those legs going with the uh, side steps. Bring your arms forward. 10 seconds. Great stuff. March one spot. Nearly there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right to home, my lovely. Let's go to our wide bit. We're going to do the flexing the knee, pushing our hips back. It's a side lunge, but also stretching out our inner thighs. So remember to keep that knee not going too far forward over your toe and you're pushing your hips back. Make sure you've got a wide enough stride so you can do it without your knees kicking out to the side. 10 seconds. Very good. Five to go. So your hands are on your supporting bent leg. Yay! Good job marching on the spot. Perfect. 10 seconds. Keep those legs moving. Straighten out the arms. Three. Two, one, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's stand. Right arm in front, take him across your body, little shoulder stretch. So keep your legs moving, keep wriggling. Don't stop suddenly because we'll start pooling our blood if you don't want. Just keep moving and bending the knees, wriggling around. So we're stretching out our shoulder. Let's change arms, left arm in front, take him across.
Lovely. Good shake. Go for a tricep stretch next. Right arm up, bent in behind. Your left hand's going to assist in the stretch. Don't put any strain on your head or your neck. It's completely free. Can you have your hand here to push? Perfect. Lovely. Change them over. Left arm up, bend behind. Right arm assists. Good job. Little shake. Pull your shoulders back, hands behind, squeeze your elbows together. Good, good. Release. Bring your arms in front. You're going to grab hold of your wrists and try and pull them apart whilst you're pushing them forward as well. So you're going to grab your wrists, pull apart, see if you can stretch across the front and push forward. Can I try chop with my head? It's all that way. You can see <laughs> that we're stretching. Good. Release and shake. Let's go to our walking slide position for our hamstrings. So we're going to bend our back legs. So core nice and tight, engage your glutes. Push your hips back and your hands are on your bent leg. You're free to stretch in your out extended front leg. Your core's tight and back active, so no, no weak backs, please. Do good with your toes. Toes down. Perfect, pull yourselves up, change legs over. Core tight, hips straight, engage with glutes. Push your hips back, hands on your bent leg. Active back. Lift your toes. Back on your foot again, push into the ground. Good, peel yourself up. Hold on to the blood to be static and stable. A chair or wall, we'll do our quad stretch. So, take your leg behind, stabilize, core tight, thighs are level. To increase the stretch, push your hips forward, but not your thighs, keep them flat. Three, two, one, perfect, change over. So I think nice and static, think about your supporting knee, make sure it's soft and not locked out. Hips nice and flat, hand wobble. <laughs> to increase the stretch, push your hips forward. Perfect stuff, loose them off. And uh, next, a little bit wider than the hip, arms out at 45, just your Russian doll, shake them off. You feel it all the way through the back of your ribs and your shoulder blades. Don't control it. Let the weight of your arms increase that rotation. Good stuff. And let's breathe in. So feet back to hip distance apart. Nice deep breath in all the way up to the ceiling. Push away, tippies if you wish. Breathe out, arms down. Shake them up. Have a little wriggle. And that's you lot done. Beautifully done. Perfect, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so our lovely friend Karen mentioned the other day that the supermarkets are closed tomorrow. So if you're in Spain, you need to get your food done, get to the shops today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hit at 10. Pilates at 11, Spanish time. Ciao for now.